Smartphone season two is officially over, my friends. And you know what? I think I'm satisfied with this ending. You know, I think last week when I was with you guys, or the last time that I, you know, last episode that I was with you guys, I think I explained that um, the main thing that I really wanted to see was I wanted to see all the girls in, you know, their wedding dress or a wedding, you know, kind of like happening. And although it wasn't, like, a fulfilled wedding or anything, like, I do feel pretty satisfied at the end that we ended up getting here. Like, all the admin girls get together, they grab the clairvoyance gem, and they basically, like, they're like, let me look inside, and then they see all the girls in their wedding dress. Now, the one thing that kind of, like, not weirded me out, but the one thing that I thought was interesting was they showed all the girls there in wedding dresses in their current form. So it's like, well, based on his master plan, I'm going to be 18. That means, like, I thought they were going to age up the girls a little bit because, like, you know, they put all the girls in white dresses and then they put Sue because she's the youngest of them in, like, a pink dress or whatever. And I was like, okay, that's fine. You know, if, if one or two or three of them want to be, like, different color wedding dresses, it's their wedding day, whatever. But then they just put them in their current age. Like, I was like, oh, give us, I was like, give us a little something. You know what I mean? Like, give us, like... Like, age Sue up a little bit. Age um, Yumina up a little bit. You know, age them up, like, a tiny bit. Uh, but that simply just didn't happen. So I was a little disappointed in that. But I was I was uh, pleased that we got them in wedding dresses. I was disappointed in the fact that they didn't age them up at all. Because it's like, well, if you're looking through this clairvoyance gem to show you the future, then I would assume that the future would show us of uh, the girls actually in the future. Unless the unless the clairvoyance gem is hinting that this wedding is going to be like simply around the corner. But then that goes against Toya's, I gotta be 18, master plan. So, you know, I don't know. I was, I was again, like I said, I, was, I felt pretty good about it. You know, I was glad that we got that. Um, you know, it, it's it's an interesting way to, to kind of like scurve around, you know, to kind of scurve around the corner that um, they're not really showing us all of that happening. They're using that clairvoyance gem, you know, to kind of show us that they're kind of like skeeting around it. Um, <laughs> skeet, skeet, skeet. Uh, but I should have said skirting, skirting around it. I went that went the opposite direction. There. I went I went with Toya never dares to do. Which is like, how is he ever going to have children if he can't even? All right, whatever. But yeah, you know, so like, I don't know. I felt pretty okay with 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 all of this that happened. Um, you know, we got the last two pieces of Babylon this episode. We got the Rampart, uh, which is handled by Leora, another admin girl. And then we got the um, Tower that's handled by Pamela Noel. And, you know, uh, all the ad... You know, one of the things that, that threw me off too is like... Um, Originally, I don't know if they really talked about it too much this season, but in the first season, they made it very clear that the admin girls are all robots. Like, they're not, you know, humans. But they've kind of, like, gotten away from that as they've introduced more and more of the admin girls and made them more humanistic. They even talked about marrying him and all this other stuff. It's like, well, you're not human. You're you're robots. So it's like, it, it, they've kind of gotten away from that a little bit. They've kind of, like... They kind of got into that gray area of of the robotic uh, stuff here, so I always thought that was kind of interesting too. And it was like, well, why why do they need to eat or anything if they're robots? So it's like I feel I feel like they've gotten away. Like they they made that very clear season one when he first got like the first piece of Babylon and all that. But then they kind of gotten away from that. They just introduced more, and just just shoved more and more girls. Um, speaking about shoving in more girls, you know, one of the other things too, and not, it has nothing to do with episode 12, but just holistically, the anime is like, I feel like, and let me know if you agree with this or not, but I feel like they were so focused on giving us fan service and giving us all the nine wives this season that like, we haven't really focused too much at all on adventuring and usually, he, like, he barely busted out his smartphone this season at all. And if we think about the first season, you know, he used his smartphone as a device 
for battle. And he used it as a device to make, you know, things like ice cream and to pass along things. He, may, he used his device, I think he used his device in season one to make like the, like the sauna or the spa or whatever. But he used his, his smartphone a lot the first season just to kind of like navigate this world and everything. And, you know, he even used that device to kind of like better himself and, and, and do all the other things. And then the, and then the first season introduced this threat of the phases or whatever and although this second season we did get him actually making the robots to defend them and everything else and we did see the guy who is apparently like a time traveler or something or like a, a realm or i should call him a realm traveler a world traveler or whatever like um you know we did get him but we didn't get like the main crux of the story because they were so focused on nine wives Let's get them all here and everything else. So I just feel like some of the things that actually made Smartphone Season 1 a little bit special outside of just the fact that he gets this big harem. Uh, I feel like they, they kind of lost focus on that to focus completely over here, which, again, part of me is like, okay, I know why you did it and I'm okay with it. But then the other part is like, well... If I begin just kind of plucking away and the fact that I'm not – because you gave me this over here, I'm not even satisfied with what you gave me over here. It leaves me wanting over here and it makes me go like I would have rather just had four – like uh, I would rather have just had them have the four or the five wives, maybe including Sue, and not have the other, you know, two or three introduced to have more of this. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, well – I don't know. But at the end of the day, I do feel like this is the last season that we're going to get of Smartphone. We might get another one in the future. We might get a part three. Uh, if I look it up, I don't think we've I don't think we've seen any announcements um, at all uh, about a season three or anything. So, yeah, I see everything here that it has yet to be announced if it's going to be announced at all. So, like, it, it's just really hard to know. But. Overall, you know, if I were to say overall, I think this was a solid 6 out of 10 season. Um, I'm just happy that it exists. I'm happy that I get more smartphone anime. I do think that it did it did uh, skew away about what made season one kind of special. Uh, and it wasn't like, you know, this masterpiece, but what made it special, I feel like we did kind of skew away from that quite a bit. But I think that they did what they could with what they had, and they focused on what they thought was in, was important, which was the which was the nine girls. Um, also, one thing that I loved about this episode, though, is I love how they kept talking about the nine wives and the fact that Sakura and Lean were actually there the whole entire time. I thought it was pretty, uh, pretty cool and pretty interesting as well. I thought it was pretty funny because as they kept talking about, like, oh, where's the other two? Where's the other two? Do you have two more wives? They just like they just kept showing little like little glimpses of Sakura and Lean just kind of like there in the background. Like, what are you going to do about it, huh, Toya? And I thought that was pretty, uh, pretty funny. One very, very last thing I'll say is they talked about babies and, and children and how he's going to have children in the future. And one thing that I think it was um, Leora that said it specifically is that he is going to have children with each of the nine wives. So that does include everybody from, you know, from Yumina all the way to Lean. Even Lean, a little fairy or old ass fairy grandma is going to have children too. So I thought that was cool that he is in fact going to have a child at least one child with each of the nine wives. So I thought that was a pretty cool thing for him as well, too. Okay, very, very last thing I'll say is this, and I've, I've seen it throughout the whole anime, but I can confidently say this episode based on her reaction, based on his reaction and everything, that Yae is definitely Toya's favorite girl. And you can just tell. Because all the girls kissed him, and the ones that he kissed, the only one that he was, like, aggressive and passionate and really, like, getting it was with Yae. And he's done the same actions before as he's kind of prioritized Yae above the other girls before. You would think it'd be Yumina as him as his favorite, but Yae is definitely his favorite girl. And you could just see it. And I've always thought that, but it was definitely evident on what they did this episode with, with, with him aggressively and being the one to take action when it comes to the kiss. So... Just thought I'd throw that out for food for thought. All right, my friends, that is it. Thank you guys for joining me all season long. This has been awesome seeing a six-year revival of an anime that has just been gone for over half a decade. Let me know your final thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the summer for summer anime. Peace.